Hi, in this video, I want to introduce to you the concept of um, loose match and exact match. So I'm opening my uh, note with the CSS selectors that we've built for this button post. I have four versions. And as I mentioned already many times, one element can be addressed by many expressions of a CSS selector. Your job is just simply to find the one that, um, that is the most reliable one and uh, that creates for you least maintenance uh, efforts. So the concept that I want to introduce today is uh, the lose versus uh, exact match. And let me show you what I mean. So the exact match is what we have here right now. This is where we have the equal sign. But if I add a star here, then I can be building a CSS selector that only loosely matches a keyword, or basically looks for a keyword inside a value. So for example, here, instead of having this long value, I would simply um, I would simply reduce it to share actions and that's it. Question is, what would be my motivation to do that? So let me add that because that would be our fifth selector uh, that addresses the same element. So again, demonstrating the point to you that one element can be addressed by many CSS selectors. So in this case, I see here a few well, words that indicate that they are related to style. For example, here, art deco. Um, and it could simply happen that this kind of style elements, like second art deco button, they will change over time if the website is restyled. I mean, you can use that selector as, as we've built it. It works, we checked it. If you reload the page, it still works. But if you want to get even more advanced, then do take a look at how can you minimize your selectors to only the necessary parts of it. So that's why with this lose match with the star, I can now look or I can now check the uniqueness of it. So again, hitting arrow up in the console, for the latest command of document query selector all. And here I'm just going to add the star and delete the rest of it. And now I'm going to hit enter. And still the right selector, the, the right element is being identified by this selector. But right now I just removed a lot of, let's say noise and fluff and reduced my selector to the most necessary information that will make it more maintainable for me and most likely more robust. To demonstrate the point with the exact match, pay attention now for me to take out, uh, to delete that star. So now um, I'm looking for a strict match and nothing will be found here. So nothing can be found under the strict match of share actions. For that, I would need to take the whole value of it. But again, if I add the star here, that would uh, let me um, um, basically address also those elements where the value contains these keywords but doesn't match it strictly. So as you can see there, we are at the right element again. In some situations, perhaps, so let's take a look again at what we have here. In some situations, you may want to get rid of certain cryptic parts, but still keep the other part of the value. For example, in this case, I could simply uh, remove that number and perhaps my CSS selector would look like that. So again, this is the original one and this is the new one. So let's see if this one would work. And as you can see, this is also working. Now you may ask, well, which one should I use? Just with one attribute or with two? 
So this or this. And um, in this situation, for example, this is really this really depends on your use case and on the CSS selector or on the web element that you're trying to address with that CSS selector. In this situation, I personally would opt for this one because having your CSS selectors leaner gives you um, less opportunity, so to speak, to fail because it could happen that with the time, something will change on this website, some code will be rewritten, and maybe one of these attributes will disappear. So you're sort of minimizing your um, your probability of failure. But really, as I said, this is something perhaps more advanced. Really, you can use this selector or this or this. They all work. They all do not contain um, dynamic elements and you would be fine with either of those. All right.